Any university's mission is basically to gather people together, to teach them, to inform them, to make them more knowledgeable about the world. But you have to have an appropriate place to do that, an appropriate setting. The building is not necessarily about what it looks like on the outside, but rather what it does on the inside. This is a venue where we can bring together community and institutional partners for an opportunity to engage in important conversations within the context of the university's robust intellectual environment. The David Rubenstein Forum provides a focal point for the intellectual power and activities of the university and represents the embodiment of our character, traditions, and newest ideas. The university really didn't have a good gathering place for conferences or internal purposes. And Bob Zimmer had this vision of having a building that would gather people together and be appropriate for conferences. And I think it was a brilliant idea, and I give him a lot of credit for pushing forward with it. The University of Chicago has a number of really exciting buildings. It's had a history of great architecture, and this is in that tradition. It's a building that will stand the test of time, and people will say, this is a great building, because the architect really put in an incredible amount of design work into it, and as a result, people will remember this building, in my view, for quite some time. Our design of the David Rubenstein Forum tried to embody the University of Chicago's mission which is founded on cross-disciplinary and cross-cultural exchange. I like to think of the building as an instrument through which you're reconnected to the sides of Chicago, the north side and the south side, through giant picture windows that are two stories high and have no steel framing elements so that the outside is brought right into the building and the inside allows you to witness the city in a wholly unique way. We used very simple, very pure materials, such as wood and blackened steel. And those materials find their way in every level of the building. They wind up sets of stairs, over bridges, in ceilings and floors and walls to make a carefully orchestrated symphony of materials and colors. Programs in the David Rubenstein Forum include convenings such as academic symposia, strategy and planning retreats, and talks by distinguished leaders and other dignitaries from around the world. One aspect of the experience that a person has in the Rubenstein Forum, which is unique for a center of this type, is exposure to a contemporary art installation with selections from the collection of Kenneth C. Griffin and exhibits of important historical documents from the collection of David Rubenstein. The organization of the spaces in the Rubenstein Forum is what we call a progressive retreat. It features highly active, voluminous spaces on lower floors, which are connected by the Bernard Del Giorno Grand Staircase, and more intimate settings as you ascend the tower to the upper floors. Signature spaces include Friedman Hall, a 285-seat auditorium with views towards the Midway Plaisance and Rockefeller Chapel, the Peter May Boardroom, and Capani Family Lounge with views towards Chicago's South Side, and the City View Room with magnificent panoramas of the campus, downtown Chicago, and the lake. Being surrounded by exceptional works of art and architecture, and the vibrancy of the university's culture in and around the building is memorable and enriches the experience. Establishing the Rubenstein Forum would not have been possible without the generosity and commitment of university trustee and alumnus David Rubenstein and other forward-thinking alumni and friends. They're great citizens, caring philanthropists, and creators of transformative ideas that enrich the human experience. They have thoughtfully supported a vision to elevate convening on the University of Chicago campus. And they have brought recognition to who we are, what we do, and the excellence of how we do it.